associates or she'd done like Namibia and Botswana and South Africa <coughs> so she's yeah she's quite the independent uh, traveler so what are you guys waiting for she is making y'all look bad for all of you yeah that have not uh, that are still going to you know the Bahamas and all those other great places right you have no Bahamas, excuse. Mexico, Caribbean like we yeah, all done it like it's time it. to, it's time to hit the motherland it's time to go to the continent like stop saying oh I wish I can go oh I want to go just go okay the Sheratons outside the states are actually nice they're better <laughs> they're actually nice so a full review is coming no holds barred yeah I don't really I don't really think the Sheraton is all that well, I haven't been to a really nice one in the States. They've just been okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see, buddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me, let me throw these on. So I, let me put on my glasses so I can see what I'm saying. Those were your original ones. Yep. And you took them over. And then you took mine. Yep. Now I have yours. All right, but now I got my P frames again, so I'm back. All right, let's get this um, recap of day uh, seven and eight. Seven and eight. And also, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our channel. We are in Rwanda. Yes. Rwanda. Is it Rwanda? Rwanda. It's uh, Rwanda. Who is it? Nah, I, I'm hearing different variations, so we ain't all that... Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not even gonna do too much. <laughs> Rwanda. I'm just saying it like I see it. Um, until I learn some uh, key Rwanda, key Rwandese. Yeah. You're already doing better than me because you're just giving me two things. Well, not. I just said right. Really well, I think I was. I heard people say uh, Sawa and Jumbo. <laughs> So I was like, oh, they speak in Swahili. Yeah, so, well, I'll learn it, but I like the way it sounds. I like their Swahili. See? Yeah. Um, especially those songs that we were listening to. Anyway. Tunes. Okay, so, all right, let's, before we go into that, we're going to get into, we, we got to start. Okay, day seven. Day seven was day one, technically, or one, our first full day in this great country. Mm -hmm. um, we arrived here at around six o'clock on day six, so day seven. <laughs> <laughs> we actually woke up here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's where we started. That's okay. where we started. Let me help you out. Now. So we had an early call yesterday morning. Uh, we got up uh, nice and early, around six a.m. For was it a seven or eight a.m. Eight thirty. Was it 8.30 pickup? It was 8.30, yes. That's when uh, Augustine came to collect us. Yeah, yeah, okay, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah now, yeah. yeah, okay. So we had a 7 a.m. wake up call, actually. Yeah. Yeah. He was gone. He was supposed to pick us up at 7. Uh, we woke up at 6. Uh, no. <laughs> he collected us at 8.30. We woke up at 7. <laughs> <laughs> Not that it really, I'm sure, I'm sure you all don't even care. It's just okay. 15 years at this tried. point, who cares? Okay. <laughs> we tried to wake up early. We did, so we got what, up at 7. That, when I say early, not, not an hour early to wake up. <laughs> when I say early, like, when I say I'm going to wake up early, that means like an hour and a half or two hours early. Which is what it was because eight thirty was the pickup and the alarm went off at seven. <laughs> it was an hour and a half. Well, all right, <laughs> two hours. Okay, so early for me is two hours. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, fair enough. <sighs> anyway. Anyways, we uh, woke up and we had to redo our bags, right? But we did that the night before. I no, but I had to redo mine because oh, yeah, yeah. I was frazzled. Yeah. I was tired. I, my mind was in all directions, and. So the reason I had to redo my bag is because the ride from here 
to these uh, canopy walk, which is what the guy, um, not the guy, Augustine was picking us up for to take us to the canopy walk. And it was a five hour drive from here to there to yeah. uh, Ngami. Ngwimi. Okay, I'm gonna put it right here. Bam. <laughs> it was actually five. If I may, it was four hours because we were up at 12.30 and we ate from 12.30 to one. And then the two of us. Yeah, I mean, he said anywhere between four and five hours mm -hmm. drive. Yeah, we made it in good time. Yeah, so I had to actually book a hotel room near the park or close enough to the park because coming back and forth to Kigali was not ideal because ideal because um, I signed up for two tours. Yeah, over two consecutive days, which is what we're going to cover in this, yeah. in this vlog. Yeah. So. In this recap. Yeah. So. Um, so yeah, we had to pack one bag overnight, and um, I didn't know. Like it's weird because I don't know the weather. I didn't know the weather. It seemed cold. It seemed warm, and it could rain. So I had to pack for that. So I, I had to pack all kinds of stuff. I'm glad I did because she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> What did I pack? <laughs> you didn't pack um, a swimsuit. <laughs> you didn't pack a. You didn't pack. Yeah, you packed rain gear adequately, but you had so many layers on, like it was like it was winter time, <laughs> like we was in the states. That was a good decision. <laughs> no, because you got the D layer at one point. Okay, let me. Okay, we're going too far. Okay, so anyway, we packed a one night bag. Went down to the lobby. Um, I was texting with him. He's like, I'm in the lobby. I was like, okay, we're here. Um, I don't know what he was doing at the front counter, but I had to go get some uh, money out the ATM machine. Um, the night, incidentally, when we arrived here the night before, my ATM card worked, my debit card worked at the ATM, but I don't, it, was, it was like a test. So I only took out like, I think the equivalent of $20 and local Rwandan currency. And then the morning of the uh, excursion, um, when our driver, Augustine, <laughs> was in the lobby, he was like, are you ready? I was like, oh, hold on, I'm just gonna go to the ATM and take out some money. Why did my card <laughs> not only not work uh, one time with so the first time I tried to take out $300 in uh, US, well, $300 worth of Rwandese currency, then it said it denied me. And then I said, well, let me try 200. It denied me. Well, let me try 100. It denied me. Well, let me try $30. <laughs> it denied me. And I was like pissed. I was like, it was already a tough morning because I didn't get enough sleep and I hadn't got to sleep since we traveled basically. Um, but you got finished doing whatever you was doing at the front counter. What were you doing? I took our laundry down because uh, nothing was washed well, fortunate, unfortunately, uh, right. during our time in Diani. Yeah. That laundromat that we went to just didn't do it, hence why I didn't have my swimsuits. They hadn't been washed well, so there's still sand, just the whole bunch oh, of stuff. Oh, so we it. took laundry downstairs, yeah. that's what it was. Yeah, and oh. also I was speaking to them about our phone, the phone in our room um, actually doesn't work, but again, we're going to do a review <laughs> yeah. on the accommodations in a separate video, so, but that's what I was doing. It's a nice, it's, it's a nice room. Um, you probably saw it already, but um, so anyway, you came through in the clutch I was like, can you use your card? You got a card <laughs> so we can take out some money because I can't, we can't go here without any cash. We can't go on this trip and uh, your card worked. You know, I said, you first you took out 150. I was like, cool, $150 uh, in Rwandese currency. Take out another 150. <laughs> and I was like, I'll pay you back. I'll send it to you. 
So anyway, she took out, yeah, we got all our money and we hit the road. And Aunt Augustine, um, at first I was like, I thought he spoke French because I was like, oh man, I don't speak French. I was like, you're gonna have to talk to Augustine <laughs> because when I said, good morning, you know, I just saw this brother. He, he reminded me of somebody I knew in the States. I was like, oh, what's up, man? I was talking to him and I could tell he really didn't understand me. <laughs> I was like talking to him like, oh, what's going on? Yeah, I'm going to the ATM, get some cards, get some money out. And then I'm gonna be at you in a second. You know, I was I was just talking and um, he was looking at me like, uh-huh, okay. <laughs> I don't know, he didn't understand me. Um, but um, anyway, I got in the front, you got in the back. We, yeah, he put our bags, yeah. He took our bags, threw them in the, in the truck. Oh, it was a nice Land Cruiser. I think it was Land Cruiser. Oh, it was a Toyota. Yeah, Toyota Land Cruiser. Um, it's a nice car. You see it right there. And um, so we're driving through the uh, morning. It was a Wednesday morning in Kigali City. Thursday morning, sorry. It was Thursday morning. morning. Today is Friday, so it's Thursday. Yeah, it was at almost eight, and it was bustling. It was like busy, busy, busy. I was like, man, there's a lot of people, lots of people here. And um, in the morning, I was like, I don't know about this city. It looks nice, like the part we're in is clean. But I was like, okay, so this is downtown. But I was like, I don't know, it's a lot of people. <laughs> it's so many people. And it was so many, it was funny because it was so many kids and so many, I like seeing a lot of kids around. I like just seeing like just young people out and about and it's thriving. But I was like, I don't know about the city yet because we haven't even been here 24 hours. And then as we kept driving, I was like, oh, this is nice. This, like, I'm liking Rwanda. Like, I like that. I like, this is the first time I've been anywhere where I think I like the out, outside the city better than the city. I think, uh, you know, if I lived here, I would want to live in the countryside rather than inside the city, because I can just come back and forth. But um, it was a long drive. It was a long drive. You know, we drove. No, we, we got there almost one. It was 12.30. We had just 30 minutes to eat our food. Um, we walked it down. We, we had 30 minutes to eat our food because the next tour was at one. Um, so we sat down. It was 12.30. Hold on. Um, what? <laughs> yeah, at the okay. National Park. Cause what did we do? But we we did something on the way to the park. We before stopped we at got a coffee there. shop. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. like about two or three hours drive from our hotel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> was it forty-five minutes or was it two hours? It was. An, it was <laughs> it's about an hour. An hour and a half. Okay, hour and a half <laughs> drive from the hotel yeah. going towards. It was like N 10 a.m. Nguye. Mm -hmm. Nguye National Park. Okay, let me go find you. Talk to the people. Yeah, so um, we stopped at this coffee shop. You guys saw clips from that. It was a great coffee shop, um, had great amenities. Uh, and then, you know, we got right back into the vehicle and proceeded to make our way to. Um, the park and we literally pulled into the parking lot at 12 31 i remember looking at the car <laughs> and he's like so you guys ha because and the other th reason why i remember that specifically is because um augustine was kind enough to call ahead and have our lunch uh order placed so that we could eat straight away because this is africa so you know food is made on order um fresh to order uh, and so it can take some time, right? So he had called it in beforehand. We had seen the menu. Uh, and when we sat down, we had like maybe 15, 20 minutes. We ended up going just a little bit past one. By the time the tour started, truthfully, it was due to start at one o'clock, but I think we started at around 1.20, almost 1.30. Um, yeah. Yungwe. Yungwe Forest National Park amazing 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 and what a great idea uh, by the way can i just say the organization of like the tour companies to 
um, you know, collect you at such and such a time to be able to factor in a coffee shop stop. He was very considerate. Bath because, the multiple bathroom breaks I have to take. Yeah, because honestly, like, I'm a little bit high maintenance guy in case you've not noticed. <laughs> and so, because I didn't want to disrupt things, and also I wasn't entirely sure what we were doing. I have been carrying my Whole Foods bag now for <laughs> two weeks. Everywhere we go with, you know, uh, paleo granola and nuts and vegan chocolate, paleo chocolate, etc. Et so that we always have something and we don't have to like, uh, I don't have to ask people to like stop and get us something. And also we're not compromised in terms of like our nutrition. Um, so I wasn't expecting to stop. So the fact that they had factored that in was really great. The fact that they had factored in lunch before the tour and calling in for that also great. So for me, I'm just impressed by how um, how these tour operators run it. They're kind of like well well oiled machines. Like they've thought about everything to keep you comfortable, right? So this ain't they first rodeo. No, it's not. <laughs> so and again, something that I don't know a lot of people would expect when yeah. coming here. But these guys, they know what they're doing. They're professionals. At and job. Um, we'll put the uh, information uh, who I booked through. It's real simple, real easy. Um, and uh, it's called 1000 Hills uh, LTD uh, Tour Company. And they do a lot of tours around here and they hooked us up with uh, my man, uh, Augustine. And he was, he was amazing. He's like a contracted uh, driver, tour operator for them. So, you know, they help each other out. Everybody's a co-op, co-opted. Uh, cooperating or you know cooperative yeah um i even he even let me out on the side of the road <laughs> to pee <laughs> i was in the, and i was in the woods well i'm gonna bleep that out <laughs> well you know my my short stint of driving uber I, i've done i've used bathroom not number one in all kinds of places um <laughs> so it was nothing but no um yeah, that canopy tour. So are we are we on the pit tour now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we saw all kinds of uh, monkeys. No, what did we see? Yeah, yeah we saw monkeys. monkeys. Oh, Black we squirrels. we talk about our boy um, Victor. Victor, did you say Victor? Yeah, I've not mentioned him yet, but he was our he was our tour guide. Our tour guide at the park. Yeah, for the park. So yeah, Augustine was our sort of tour guide driver and then they, he dropped us off and another tour guide takes over. So have cash because you're gonna wanna tip each person that takes you somewhere. And um, so yeah, Victor was awesome. A young guy, funny, good personality, just like bubbly, um, knowledgeable. He, you could tell he like he does this all the time. Like he knew everything about the park. Uh, he was telling us everything about the animals who live in the park, um, how many species of birds, monkeys, um, even the flower plants, all that stuff. Um, and then he did a whole photo shoot <laughs> for us. A whole. Well, I photo think. Shoot. I think you know. No matter where we go, the guys gravitate to Alkali Yogi. <laughs> so, you know, they, they pay a little more attention to her and that's fine. I'm like, hey, that's cool. You know, it, you know, just, it, it gives me a little break now. I'm just joking, <laughs> but no, they really take care of us. That's why I got her. So, you know, when I got her by my side, it's like, oh, we getting good treatment <laughs> automatically. <laughs> but no, he did a whole photo shoot because she don't really know how to use her phone, her camera. <laughs> she, and like he was showing tricks and all this stuff. Uh, here's a couple of the images. Like, it was like, how did you do that? <laughs> so he's showing her, showing her how, to, how to do it on her phone. And um, we uh, did, so we did the canopy walk and that was amazing. We was up, I don't know how many feet we were. Um, was, I'm getting the numbers mixed up, but we was high. It was up there, like, and a canopy stretched a long, a long way. And uh, we actually ran, while we were doing our tour, this um, other woman came on the tour. She was doing a tour right behind us with a, with a tour guide. And 
the world is so small. Tell her what happened with that. Oh yeah, fellow Canadian. It was so funny because we found ourselves on a canopy also made by Canadians, incidentally. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like the holy trinity, if you will. <laughs> Two Canadians and a bridge that was constructed by a Canadian company. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and um, she was telling that she was she was a uh, a uh, white lady, um, and she was just telling us that she had just came back from was it Congo? Yeah, so this woman went to the Congo all by her lonesome, all by herself. She did like I don't know how long she was there. Um, she and what else she do? Last year she had come to Africa as well, and she had done like. Uh, all of South Africa for her 40th. So she'd done like Namibia and Botswana and South Africa, etc. Et so she's, yeah, she's quite the independent uh, traveler. So what are you guys waiting for? She is making y'all look bad. And we met another young lady as well in, in Kenya. I believe she was in her 30s. Sri Lankan woman uh, who traveled, was also traveling by herself and had done the Maasai tour. The, All by the, herself. The Maasai uh, Safari. Maasai Mara. Yeah, the Maasai Mara Safari. So, mm -hmm. for all of you, yeah, that have not, uh, that are still going to, you know, the Bahamas and all those other great places, right? You have no Bahamas, excuse. Mexico, Caribbean, like we yeah, all done it. Like it's time to, it. it's time to hit the motherland. It's time to go to the continent. Like, stop saying, oh, I wish I can go. Oh, I want to go. Just go. Like. You wait, you know, you, you're going to spend the same much money, maybe even cheaper to go to Africa instead of just going to the Caribbean. Like you can do that anytime. It's like so accessible. And this here we got, we got a Sri Lankan woman and a white woman, <laughs> like hitting all these countries all by themselves. Like this, this is a white woman, like white. Like Aryan, like <laughs> yeah. blonde. Blonde and hair, blue, blue eyes. Like yeah. Fairly certain a natural blonde. Yeah. <laughs> and, Which are, you know, there are not many natural Yeah, and she's not Me imposing or she's just a regular woman, small, like a regular woman. And she's hitting all these countries. So she hit the Congo. Like people are scared to go to the Congo for some reason. I know, you know, some stuff is in, unstable, but it's still like parts of the Congo you can go to. You can, you can travel to. So if y'all don't go, man, like that's why like you see all these people who are non-melanated in these places because they know something everybody else don't. That is dope. <laughs> that it's a lot. It's a lot to do. It's like just you know such beauty and all that. So so we don't go on a tangent. Like if y'all thinking or planning to come to Africa, y'all just got to do it. You just got to do it. Um, and if you got to do it by yourself, even better because you're going to have, you're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to be more approachable. You're going to come out of your comfort zone. You're going to probably, you're going to meet a lot of people, you know, on your own. And, you know, Africans like seeing people, you know, coming to their place, not, you know, Africans, no matter what country you are in Africa, like people just are interested in you. And especially if you came by yourself, they're like, whoa, okay. So... Anyway, we, we finished the tour and Victor and the other tour guide ended up doing their own photo shoot while <clears throat> Akalai Yogi and the woman are pretty long winded. So, and I was just standing there like waiting for either the tour guides to go finish talking <laughs> or these women to stop talking. <laughs> so they did their own photo shoot and shout out to uh, Victor. Um, we're gonna send you those pictures soon. Um, so yeah, we finished that and that was a hike. Like that was a workout. We didn't, we didn't have time to work out in the morning. Um, but that it, it would last, it lasted for like what an hour or two hours. It was meant to be an hour and a half, but actually Victor was so gracious and generous. He really took his time and he captured so many great moments for us in terms of capturing like oh. the monkeys and the flying squirrels. He was so patient. Plus he did the photo shoot for us on the canopy itself. So we ended up going um, just over two hours, but it is meant to be an hour and a half trip. Yeah, yeah and he was, <clears throat> he was speaking to the animals like, like, <laughs> Like he knows the sounds to make to get the animals out and he knows exactly where like, he knows where to look. So he, he captured a lot of stuff for us. So the stuff that you see 
here and on the vlog. A lot of that was Victor. We can't take credit for that. And uh, yeah, we finished that. Um, it, it was actually like, it was kind of chilly when we started, but then as we started going down into the uh, rainforest, it got a little warm. Then it got chilly, then it got warm. Like she was taking layers off. <laughs> I was like, that's why I just got a rain jacket and t-shirt. But um, so knowing how to dress for it, if you, you know, you gotta just figure out the uh, season you're coming, whether it's dry season or rainy season or hot, but just, just be prepared. Just put everything in your backpack and, you know, take off, put on layers as needed. Uh, so after that, you know, we gave him a, uh, we took some more pictures with him and we gave, you know, gave him a generous tip and he was happy about that. And we sharing his information. So once you come, cause you gotta come. So now that I called you out, you gotta come, you know, ask for Victor, hit him up, <clears throat> book through him, uh, book through Augustine to get you there, Victor to take you on, on the tour. So yeah, it was time to go uh, to our hotel. So I had to book another hotel. So <laughs> we had two hotels booked. Uh, one hotel couldn't stand because we was all the way there. So it only made sense to book a hotel in between uh, Nguye Na National Park and where we went, well, the next day where we were going on our other uh, excursion. So uh, on the way to the hotel, we, we took pictures, we stopped and took pictures and that took what, like three hours or four hours? Yeah, I think, I think you're right actually this one. I don't think it's an arbitrary number. I do think it was about uh, third. Well, we left around, let's see, one third each. Or... Yeah, about three hours to get to the lake, the lodge that we stayed at last night. Yeah, by Lake Kivu. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> the, that day we left Kigali we went south and then from the uh, canopy tour, we had to go northwest to the lake. So we went, we traversed like part of Rwanda, like a quarter of Rwanda probably. Um, so when we got to the lodge, it was dark, um, we checked in and it was, uh, we couldn't see much, but it was a nice place. And that's where you saw the other recap from the other day. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so that is it. That's day seven. seven. Yeah. Done, so now you know what we did on day seven. So day eight, which is today, once again, started early. Hold up. Yeah. And that's it for day seven recap. Meet us back for <laughs> day eight <laughs> recap. <laughs> All right. See y'all. Bye. <laughs> Stay free. Get free. Stay, Stay decent. decent. <laughs>